What's up, what's going on, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a quick mission guide for the Crown Faction Tier 2 mission here in Season 4, known as X Marks the Spot. But before we dive into it, if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Go ahead and throw an easy goal of 150 likes on today's video, as well as if you would like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Look at that notification bell so you don't miss you in future videos. All right, so this mission is going to be two parts, and it is sending us over to Koshai Complex. So you guys are going to want to make your way into Al Mazra, and you're going to want to head to one of the four bunker entrances. You get lost trying to find these entrances. Of course, I do have a video on the channel letting you know where those locations are. But once you guys are able to enter the complex, you guys will be prepared for this mission. And part one is asking us to unlock the keypad locked room in the Koshai Complex Alpha Cluster with an R4D detector. Now, the first part we're going to have to do is locate an R4D detector. And the good news is it is going to be in the chemical plant. So you guys are going to make your way from the place you entered into the complex all the way to the center where you're going to require that night vision goggles. And then you're going to go ahead and pop those on. Now you're going to be looking for one of the two buildings in the center of the chemical plant and inside there on the workbench like table, there will be an R4D detector. Now this is going to be pretty easy to locate. And if you guys have any issues finding these buildings, you guys can find those little spaces that you can crouch and walk under. And these should obviously lead you towards the center and to where the, one of these buildings are. Now, if you guys go to one of these buildings and the R4D detector isn't in there, it's probably in the other one. So you guys want to make your way over to that second location and if it's not in either of them someone beat you to the location and grabbed it before you but once you guys have access to the r4d detector you're going to then need to head over to the alpha cluster now i probably should have mentioned this before you actually head into the complex you'll probably want to get a hold of some jumper cables and a car battery so that way you guys don't have to wander around the complex trying to get a hold of these and in some cases depending on the entrance that you have come into you may require them to actually get through into the bunker door to get access to the chemical plant. So you guys are going to want to come in prepared with a set of jumper cables and a car battery, which more than likely you will be able to find at a gas station in Almazra for heading over to the complex. But once you guys have access to those, you guys will be able to go over to the side that has the alpha cluster. And in between the two doors that lead you into the cluster, there is a location where you can put a car battery and jumper cables. If you get lucky, maybe somebody else already pops it in there and they will have one of these doors open, but that will also mean that you're likely going to run into other players. So you guys are going to want Want to be prepared with these so you can open the door first now if you guys get lost trying to find the doors i always recommend going to one of the walls and just following the walls on the outskirts until you're able to find the door that you need you guys won't be able to miss it because there is going to be two doors in order to get into the alpha cluster and in between these again will be the spot where you have to put the car battery and the jumper cables once you guys get access to the alpha cluster you're going to head into this area and you're going to want to work your way all the way until you get to the point where there's, there's a giant open room now there is going to be quite a few enemies in here so you're going to want to be cautious and you're definitely going to want to make sure you don't walk the lasers because those will obviously detonate the C4 and could take you out in a single shot. But you're going to want to make your way all the way to the right side of this room where the stairs are located that lead to the L2 restricted doors. Now you need to be really cautious once you get to the top of these stairs here because there is going to be two sentry guns kind of patrolling this and obviously a lot of AI in the area as well. So you're going to want to eliminate all of them taking out these sentry guns and you guys will see a door in between some of the L2 restricted doors here. And this does have a keypad and this is actually where you're going to need this R4D detector. So what you're going to need to do is aim the R4D detector at the actual keypad and above it there will be a set of symbols now, this is the set of symbols you're going to need to actually memorize because you're going to be going around the room looking at chalkboards that actually have these same symbols on them and you're going to need to find the symbol that matches the ones above the keypad to actually correlate to a specific number now you guys are going to want to memorize the order in which the symbols are because obviously that's the order in which you're going to have to put the numbers into the keypad so you guys are going to have to go around this room looking for chalkboards and you're going to use the r4d detector to look at them and you're going to look at the chalkboard see if your symbol is on that chalkboard and if it is it will be pointing Pointing to a specific number and that's the number that you will need to enter for that specific symbol now there is going to be quite a few chalkboards in this room and i will do my best to show you guys the locations of these however there's going to be one pretty close at the bottom of the stairs to where this door actually is this is going to be the first location. Basically, they're kind of like in a zigzag. If you guys go from the first one, you guys will want to go into the inside wall. There's going to be one there. It's going to want to go to the wall near where you came down the stairs. There's going to be one over there and you're going to follow the outside wall. There's going to be one on the inside again. I mean, it's kind of all over the place, outside, inside, outside, inside. It's going to be kind of hard for me to direct you with words to each and every one of these chalkboards, but there is quite a few of them in this room. I believe there's around seven total chalkboards and you guys will have to look at each and every one of these, depending on how many it takes you guys to find the symbols that you have but once you guys have found the three chalkboards in the room that have the corresponding symbol that you have above your keypad you guys will then know the code so you guys will head back over to your keypad there at the door you'll enter in the correct code and that will open this door once you guys actually unlock this room and get access to it that wraps up part one now part two is asking us to extract the koshai complex map now once you guys get access to this room directly in front of you on the floor will be the koshai complex map you guys will then be able to pick this up and the only thing left for you to do at that point is extract safely now the good news here is there is an exfil always in the alpha cluster 
cluster. So you guys will just pretty much head across the room from where you're at. You guys will be able to call in the elevator, wait for the time period for it to show up, get into the elevator, close it, and exfil safely with the Koshai Complex map, wrapping up this mission and tier two of the Crown Faction. That's going to wrap things up for today's quick mission guide. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.